Dzień dobry wszystkim and welcome to Warsaw Airport. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator and welcome to the Airbus A320 Neo. So, as of today, Microsoft Flight Simulator has now released and, uh, well, it truly has taken the flight simulating community by storm. I mean, even just looking at the scene right now, visually, it's amazing. No sim comes close. And so, so I take flight in the Airbus A320 on the flight from Warsaw shopping to London Heathrow Airport. Flight time today is expected to be around 1 hour and 35 minutes. So without further ado, let's jump into the cockpit and let's just let craft up. Batteries come on, let's turn power active, clear the master warning. And since we have already refueled in the menu, fuel pumps come on. Uh, when's it come to Xbox? Uh, not until either later this year or early next year. There's no release dates yet for Xbox. So the battery's on, fuel pumps are active. Let's plug in our route, which is Echo, Papa, Whiskey, Alpha, EPWA to Echo Golf Lima Lima. Warsaw to London. Hmm, not in database. Let's try that again, shall we? There, yeah, that's better. Head to the next page. Our zero fuel weight is 50.2. And our center of gravity is 23.1. Uh, stream just starting? Yes, it is. Currently in the initial start-up for the sim. And yes, third time is the charm. Hopefully this time things won't be looking too bad. Currently flying for multiplayer today, so all these aircraft over there can see are actual people flying them right now. And, uh, well, it's definitely quite busy here in Warsaw at the moment. So be sure to uh, enjoy some of that, isn't it? It's 747 down the runway. Phoenix Salt 997. Right, uh, so... FMS config, initialization sets, that's all good. Let's head over to our flight plan and let's program our routes. Flying from Warsaw, departing first of all to Deram. Uh, what is the marketplace? Oh, what is there in the marketplace? There's a couple of airports at the moment and a Caronado Cessna 182. Uh, Utolu. Followed by Bad Up. And then it's Barrep. Followed by Subix. Next page. Ah, uh, there is a next page in the F20, so we'll go back to the flight plan and I'll plug it in through the waypoint. So from Subix, we fly to Adler. That gets followed by. Amsan. Uh, it's going to be that one. Amsan to Ibnos. And finally, Logan, which then brings us into London Heathrow. So, I'm expecting quite a fair bit of traffic today, and especially as we get closer to London. Well, if you look at the map for London Heathrow at the moment, it is by far the busiest airport in the uh, simulator right now, so it will get very, very busy when we do make our approach. Right, that's all looking good. So, our departure, currently it's runway 33 in use at Warsaw, and we're departing via the Soxy 5 Kilo departure. Input that, insert that. And there we have it. Head over to the performance page where we shall be. Actually, before I do that, because next needs to be at 5, I believe it is. Yes, it is. Cruising at flight level 360. Perfect. Performance, we're using one flaps takeoff. And temperature, flex temp is 69. So, that is our FMS set. I have released a couple of tutorials earlier today, which just go into detail about how to start up the A320neo, and therefore if you are interested in learning how to fly the set craft, then I would definitely recommend giving it a watch. Right, set the up autopilot panel. Well, first of all, QNH currently 1008. Cruising at flight level 360, so 36,000 on the altitude. Flight director's active, and that's all looking good. Turn on the navigation logo lights. We'll set the strobes to automatic. 
and let us now start up the APU. There's a couple more people now uh, spawning in. The simulator got Serpterus in the TBM9. Over there, you've got a Cessna 172 and a 172. I presume those two people would find together. Over there, we have a B350, Stev 3001. And over there, we've got Tomek departing his DA40. And a lot of Polish Airlines coming onto the uh, taxiway. So that lot there is a real aeroplane flying right now. That's a real life flight. It's currently landing. Sorry, just departing to uh, Kilo Papa Romeo. And Tomek there going on his own trip. That is beautiful. APU is running. We'll now turn on the APU bleeds. And at this point, we're now pretty much ready for engine starts. FMS is set. All looking good. Quick final check. Right, so I'm happy with that. So turn on the beacon lights to that ground cruise that we are ready for engine startup. Let's press the uh, shift P on the keyboard to bring back the pushback tug. Uh, what do I think of the new 787-10? I mean, I enjoy it. It's a bit heavy, it's a bit laggy to run, but once you get it airborne, it's a joy to fly, and by far the best aircraft in the sim systems-wise. So, let the pushback tug now connect up to the aircraft. And then we'll start pushing back. Uh, nope, I'm using this sim on the Microsoft Store, not on Steam. Park and released. And today, we shall be doing the dual engine startup for the every 20. So ignition's on. Engine 1 and 2, both active. Let's jump over to passenger camera. There's a Maniad in the 748 now taking off, or landing even. Is it realistic to turn both engines on at the same time? Yes, yes it is. The A320neo is dual engine capable, and therefore you can now... We can turn on both engines at the same time. Uh, on that bronze play, buddy, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Aviation Forever. I know that the... I believe the bronze plaque on YouTube is at 100k subs, but 10k subs is just a, a standard achievement. It's nothing quite that fancy. Right, i set. Engines are starting. Yes, 10, 10k is nothing, it's 100k that gets you the bronze plaque in uh, YouTube. Both engines are stable, so now turn off the APU. Ignition switch off. In just a moment. Is it bronze, 10k? I'll need to double check that. Let me double check. Right. Taxi lights on. And let's make our way to the runway, so park and brakes released. It's currently 3-3 in use here at Warsaw Shopping. Yes, third time is the charm. First one, the sim decided to crash on me. The second time, I had the uh, click glitch where I couldn't click on any of the buttons. This time, it seems to be running alright, so we won't jinx it. We'll give it a go. Have a look at that. It really is a, a beautiful simulator, this. ETA flight time today is 1 hour and 40 minutes. It's 1 hour and 40 minutes from Warsaw to London. Uh, can you actually land to fly on this? I mean, to an extent, you can land to fly on any flight sim, so absolutely. Yes, we are running full multiplayer today. All of these airplanes around us, you see, are currently people running Microsoft Flight Simulator right now. So the entire world is populated. And especially when we make our approach into Heathrow, 
things will start to get very, very busy. I'm actually expecting to turn down some of the graphic settings, just because I'm expecting the sims to start chugging by the time we make our approach. This is all default scenery today. All default scenery. I mean, already right now, it's stuttering a tiny little bit because of all the airplanes. I can try and uh, make that a bit better by turning on the generic plane models. See if that improves things slightly. Not particularly. We'll turn it back onto normal. Uh, we have released some tutorials to say yes. So if you want to learn how to fly some of these airplanes, I have set a couple of tutorials up teaching you guys how to do it. So, well worth a watch if you're interested to know. Live weather? Yes, it's currently using live weather at live time. Thank you for being a sponsor, XD. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. How are you doing today? Oh gosh, that 747 over there is struggling a little bit. Maniad's gone and rotated a bit too early there. Oops, he did not make it. <laughs> ah, poor Maniad. Yes, this is every single player right now within Microsoft Flight Simulator currently on screen. Once it gets to London, things get very very, very busy. This is all players mode, correct. Thank you, Matsy, for the donation. Much appreciated. We've got uh, that guy just there, now landing in the F320. At some point, I will be using the uh, London City scenery, yes, at Orbex. So, I haven't got it yet. But I will be buying it after the stream ends. And so I plan to do two flights today. I'm doing the A320 now, and then when we land at Heathrow, I do plan to fly the 747, so do stick around for that. The 747 for me is by far the most fun airplane to fly in the sim. Yes, there is a friends list, and so it's possible to check out where your friends are. So at the moment, we've got Mo here, who's currently on the loading screen. I've got another guy who's currently flying in that exact location over there. So, you do get to see your friends list and you do get to actually track down where people are flying right now. Over there, they've got lots of 770 making their way in towards the Warsaw. Uh, there's no 380, there's no A350 currently in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't think any of them has been announced yet for third party either. Uh, if I pause my sim, my airplane just fades to invisible. So, I kind of just disappear when everybody carries on. Welcome back, Yan. Please don't spam or I'm going to have to remove you. Thank you, Eduardo, for subscribing. Much appreciated. So we're now almost at the runway ready for departure. Yeah, so if I was to pause, Minecraft would pause and also fade invisible as well. So if I'm paused, no one can see me. Is it out on Xbox? No. It won't come out on Xbox until at least later this year, if not early next year. Xbox still got quite a few months away from release. This is currently sunset, flying live time in live weather, so it's currently sunset here in Warsaw at the moment. And again, just look at those clouds. Um, I do know that the F-14 has been confirmed, so no F-16s yet, but I know the F-14 has been confirmed. And also, we're expecting to see an F-18, I believe, as well. So there's a couple of uh, fighter jets on the way. But I can't remember which uh, developer is currently doing them. Thank you, MV. I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, watch. I've had a lot of fun recording these for you. 
Oh yeah, the H20 is a really good looking aircraft to it. It's quite a fun one to fly as well. Yeah, some people are saying Xbox will release in November. But some are saying that it's not. It's a bit of a 50-50 at the moment. Is there Stansted Airport? Yes, there is Stansted. Am I pilot in real life? No. I have got some experience in GA airplanes, but I am not a pilot. Although I would like to do a license at some point, I plan to do an NPPL Type M. Uh, is this enjoyable with just controller? I mean, it would be more enjoyable with controller than it would be with just keyboard and mouse. I'd say keyboard and mouse would be the least amount of enjoyment. I can get followed by a joystick, sorry, key, uh, controller, and then joystick or yoke will probably be the best way to experience the sim. Alright, so let's hold short to the runway. What's the delivery? There are no deliveries out just yet. Quick visual and check of the runway, make sure nobody's currently on it. We've got an A320 departing over in the distance over there, but as it stands, runway 33 is clear. Therefore, we should be able to make our way on without too much of a problem. We'll also arm the spoilers, and once you're on the runway, we'll set the brakes to max. Currently at 30 FPS, limited. If I turned off the limiter, I could get around 45.50, but in order to allow OBS to run smoothly, I have limited my simulator to 30. There is not a replay mode yet, but Asobo are working on one and do plan to release it very soon. There is radio chatter, there is ATC you can communicate, but I'm not using that today. Can you get add-ons? There are some third-party add-ons now arriving in the sim, and so expect them to arrive within due course. Right, well we've got the runway to ourselves. Let's just quickly now take off. So auto brake set to max in case of rejected takeoff. Engines up 40%. One to a stable. Engine sets to flex. Oh boy. This is going to get quite interesting. V1 rotates. There's a DA62 down the runway. <laughs> That's amazing. I love the mods player in the sim. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. Are the liveries? Not yet, but liveries will be coming soon. Left-hand turn, let's start flying this departure out. Let's go make our way towards London. Oh yeah, flying in towards the sunset today, and therefore very beautiful orange sky as so we make a left hand turn. Let's now set up the autopilot. That's passed through 6000. At that point, we'll then be switching over to standard altimeter. And then we'll be leaving the autopilot to do all the rest of the work. A window view, sure thing. I pop over to the camera mode. Go to showcase camera. Now you have external view left. External view right. It's currently a real time flight, yes. It's 1 hour 40 minutes to London, and we shall be flying the entire 1 hour 40 minutes. We can time skip, so if I wanted to, we could. Look, I haven't used a flight plan within the sim, so it won't appear, but. What you can do is if you use the in-sim flight planner, you can then skip basically the end of the flights and let the aircraft do the rest. We can turn the engine off, but we're not going to. It 
is there the bark sound? Yes. So the PTU does sound in Microsoft Flight Sim. And if you were to start up the engines, or if you were in the aircraft when doing it, you would have been able to, to hear it. What happens if you fly into the ground? Bad things will happen. I'm currently using an, a desktop computer. It's an i7-6700 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM and an i7 and a GTX 1660 graphics card. I'm currently using the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. I've got a stick, I've got the throttle. Best bit of kit I've ever bought. The Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. Passing now through 10,000 or turn off the landing lights. And at this point, there's now nothing for us to do until we hit our top of descent. Uh, there's no 777 yet confirmed. The 737 will be available quarter 1 2021 and that will be released by PMDG. Yeah, let's not talk about cracks and uh, piracy please. Not on this channel. Uh, Xbox release won't be until later this year or early next year. Wingflex does exist, yes. Um, I believe the Turbo will be adding new aircraft as soon as time goes on, but the third party developers will certainly be taking things to the next level. Currently getting a solid 30 FPS. But I have limited it just so that OBS can be a bit smoother. If I turned off the FPS limit, I'd get around 45 50 FPS. How long's travel? This is 1 hour and 40 minutes tonight. 1 hour and 40 to uh, London. I'm not sure about Navigraph just yet. I'm not sure if you can install it. We have to check with Navigraph about them. Uh, how long did it take me to download FS 2020? It took me 5 hours to download. The Premium Deluxe Edition is 147 gigabytes of downloads, and at 180 megabits per second that took me about 5 hours, but do be aware that I downloaded this on Friday. Not yesterday, but on Friday, as part of the early release from Microsoft. Um, this is an X-Plane. I mean, I've still got X-Plane installed, and there are a few aircraft in X-Plane that I'm looking out for right now. So, for example, Toadus today announced the A340. But we'll see. I won't uninstall X-Plane yet, but I have got it on the back burner. I'll definitely be using Microsoft Flight Sim as a bit more of my standard at the moment. Because, at least graphically, this is just phenomenal. Flight Dynamics could do a little bit of work, but for least you guys watching, you guys are just seeing stuff. Uh, Real Weather does work. This is currently using Real Weather right now. Whoops. Oh, have I checked my sign back? Yes, I have. It's currently 1915 to be 2015 in Poland right now. Yeah, that's better. Let me just have a look at that. This is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful platform. Uh, how much my computer costs? Costs around the. Well, as its current setup around 600 pounds but i am currently looking to do an upgrade at some point soon and going to rebuild it basically from scratch uh yes you do not need 40 to 55 fps is a lot i mean if i turn off my fps limiter right now i'd be getting around the same as well you don't need 60 fps you don't need 
that unless you're in like a first person shooter. With a flight simulator, I'd say 25 is the minimum you need. Anything more than 25, you'd be more than happy. Are other people in the live game? Yes, so behind me, as we depart from Warsaw, you can see what well, you've got down there, you've got West Sign 399, you've got Kato 2631 behind me in the TBM, you've got Smilu in the TBM 9, TBM 9 or Toucan, and up at Cruise, you've got the Ready Soda in his A320 Neo. The multiplayer is working rather fine. I have been to Norway, I've been to Norway twice, both occasions to Oslo. Yes, I have optimised my sim since I did my graphics video, and so at some point soon I will be doing a part 2 to that, with updated graphics settings, because Microsoft Flight Simulator has changed things around since, they've added some settings and removed some, and so at some point I'll do an updated video, but for now, Here's a quick overview of what I'm running. Mostly on high, you've got quite a few of them on ultra, and one or two settings down on medium as well, but for the most part, we are running on high or ultra for the simulators today. Fly from Prime's good choice, I mean, my mummy is in pod school. Now, we e resume and Troshka. So, it makes sense for me to fly out of Poland. The 737 will be out in quarter 1 2021, PMDG are doing that, there's no 777 as you've yet confirmed. There, is ha there has been a definite FPS increase, and so definitely uh, definitely quite good. VNAV, not yet, not yet. Passing now through Flight level 295, 29,500, and so very soon we'll be at our cruise. Yes, yeah, so I believe talking about the uh, clicking bug where all of a sudden you lose control of the aircraft, I did have that and actually forced to restart the stream as a result. I will fly from Belfast at some point, but I'm not sure when. Inside the cockpit, sure thing. While we're taking off, I should probably actually turn up the brightness because it's going to be a nighttime flight today. Or well, you guys decide. Should we fly at night or should we fly in the daytime? You guys decide. Day or night. If you want daytime, we can fly in daytime. Especially when we get to London. Looking around all the AI traffic. It's going to be very, very busy. We've got two votes for night. One vote for day. Night, night, night. Okay, it looks like night's time shall be the winner today. What's my setup? Flying an NVIDIA GTX 1660 with an i7 6700 processor on at 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yes, yesterday NVIDIA released a game ready driver for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and so we are now using that. Uh, welcome, Isaac. Is there any good resource for new flight sims on how to learn the instruments and stuff? So, the simulator does come with a tutorial on how to set up your aircraft, and so I'd recommend going through the tutorial. You've also got checklists as well, so built-in checklists that explain what each setting you should do. Click on the view button and it actually hides the button as well, what you need to click. And so, I'd highly recommend you going through all the checklists and all that as well. And on my channel earlier today, I have also released a set of tutorials, which also explains the startup process of the simulator. Uh, thank you very much, Ollie, for the 199, much appreciated. 40 real airlines on release. Um, not yet, but either a cyber release them soon, or, well, the freeware developers will absolutely be doing them very soon. Welcome, Dilson. Welcome, Joey. How are you two doing? Flight time: one hour and forty minutes. Route one and a half hours from London. Not on Batson State. Using the built-in aircraft multiplayer or the built-in simulator multiplayer. If you can fly the TOLIS, you definitely can fly this. The TOLIS is more systems advanced than this. Uh, cycle the cameras, sure thing. So, cockpit cameras. You have your pilot views. You have your instrument views. 
and you have a couple of quick views. An external camera, you get default or a couple of quick views external. And then showcase cam, you get a free camera, which is a drone, and then a couple of external cameras. Uh, yes, this is live weather and live time at the moment. I was using a GTX 1660, not a 1060, a 1660. How do you move around the cockpit? Arrow keys. You can use arrow keys to move around the cockpit. And then right click to look around. Uh, can you buy the F380? Not yet. There's no F380 yet in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I've given you enough warnings now, I'm just going to ban him from the channel, I'm afraid. He's had one too many warnings, and so I'm now going to get rid of him. The simulator will release for Xbox One. It will come out at some point later this year. Later this year, or early next year, but there's no actual release dates yet. airlines yet. No airlines available just yet, but they should come soon. Co-pilot can land the aeroplane, but uh, that's a whole setting in itself. Uh, my call sign today is Droya. So if you're currently on the multiplayer system at the moment, just search for Droya and you'll be able to watch my aircraft fly. Currently we're running an NVIDIA GTX 1660 with 16 gigs of RAM and an i7-6700 processor. Yeah, so I try and answer as many questions as possible, but unfortunately with the amount of questions that I'm getting, and depending on the length of the answer, unfortunately I am missing a few of them, but I am trying my best here guys. How much RAM in use? Let's go through my uh, performance, shall we? So, as it stands, CPU utilization is at 
51%. 51% and shared across all 8 threads, 4 cores, 8 threads. In terms of RAM, I've got 16 gigs of RAM on board, of which 8.7 is currently in use and therefore only running at 55%. And my graphics card, my GTX 1660, is currently running at around 50% 3D with 6 gigs of VRAM, of which 4.5 gigs is currently in use. So again, running very, very light on the 1660. It's very, very light sim to run. Also we've got video encoder, that's just 5%, and that's just OBS doing uh, what it does. But it really is a, an easy sim to run. Welcome again, Rex. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to chat. Thank you for hosting Kai's. Much appreciated. Uh, yes, Fort Lauderdale in Florida is also available in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Every airport in the world is in Microsoft Flight Simulator. When do I think Libras will be released? Um, not totally sure yet, but I can imagine that there are currently a bunch of freeware liveries currently being made, and people should start releasing them again soon. Best doing a live video. Thanks, Big M. Much appreciated. I'm glad you're enjoying the watch. Uh, PMDG have said that they will be doing a 737 Max for Microsoft Flight Simulator. PMDG will be doing it. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Glad you guys are enjoying the watches so far. And so, while I have noticed a small drop in the amount of people watching since Sims come out, it's not a massive drop, not a massive issue. And so I would say, when it comes to me, streaming isn't a thing of how many people are watching, but how I can make the experience better for you guys. So, I'm glad you're enjoying it so far. Uh, the purpose of flashing lights outside the aeroplane. So, the flashing lights you're probably referring to right now are the beacons. So, actually it's a couple of lights, so have got these strobes on the end of the wing which flash and those are used to, those are used for better visual, so if you're flying at night or you're flying and spotting other aircraft the flashing lights makes it easier for you to spot the aeroplane the beacon is used to alert crews that the engines are currently active, the aircraft is currently turned on and the end of the wings are the nav lights, so you've got red on the left wing, green on the right wing and what that does is lets pilots know which direction the airplane's flying in. So the direction, the left and right wing is always the same regardless of what aircraft it is. So you use it to uh, decide, determine which direction the airplane's heading. Looking around, there's a 787 at 40,000 feet to my right. There's a couple of aircraft also on the ground as well. As it stands, looking relatively quiet here at the moment. What I will do is I'll go to selected speed mode and let's speed up our cruise a little bit. So Mach 0.82, actually no, we'll go Mach 0 0.80. We'll go for a faster cruise and therefore and after a slightly shorter flight time. Uh, great channel, games are realistic. Only complaint would be the real ATC, but we don't work on it. Um, yeah, so Microsoft and the Cyber have both said they are committed to 10 years of development on this platform, and therefore. I do uh, have a lot of hope that they will improve things as the decade goes on. Will there be 737s? Yes, PMDG will be developing the 737. Good day from Australia, mate. Welcome, Dougals. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. My friends, first we got a not an A350, but a B350. <laughs> Next best thing. <laughs> Welcome Harry, how are you doing? Yes, so we have the sim in 2020 and Microsoft and Sobo are committed to develop it until at least 2030. 
Welcome Jaffa, how are you doing? I'm not doing too bad, it's been a rather good day today. Spent a fair bit of time putting together some tutorials, and so those I think have been rather well received in terms of actually teaching you guys how to fly the aeroplanes. I do plan to get an upgrade for my PC soon. Right now I'm just watching the uh, the prices, so at the moment they are currently sky high. Although as soon as Nvidia announced their 30 series cards, I do expect some prices to drop, especially the 20 series cards. Those things will definitely start to drop and potentially you get yourself uh, quite a good bargain for a top end modern spec graphics card. So definitely have a look around at the moment and I will be upgrading as soon as possible. And my computer is not water cord, my computer is fan cord. And so current temperature right now, if I pop open MSI, running at 67 degrees centigrade, which is very, very nice. We are slightly overclocked, but running very cool, which is rather good for the sim. You're a big fan of my calling, nice one. <laughs> Off this coast to Nairobi. I mean, I've already done Jomo Kenyatta with the King Air already. After we land at Heathrow, I plan to do one more stream today, whether that be in the 747. The route in particular, I'll be going into more detail later. Next weekend, or actually this weekend, sorry, I do plan to do something very long haul. Not quite Australia to London or anything like that, but definitely a couple of hours in. Yes, we are currently on autopilot. We have LNAV active right now, although we are using manual speed. So if I was turning on VNAV, the aircraft will be cruising at around Mach 0.78. So now we have a faster cruise and get to land a bit quicker, I'm going to speed up the cruise and fly a little bit faster. Yes, please don't spam on Twitch either, Jan, or I'm going to have to just ban you from everything. I don't want to, but you have been rather annoying to a lot of people recently. And at the end of the day, I do need to make sure that everyone is enjoying the stream and not just you. Uh, mods are coming out. Some mods are already out. So if you go to the marketplace, there are a couple of third-party add-ons that exist in the simulator. Mods are starting to come out. Perhaps at some point, I'll do a tutorial on SIDS and Star Charts. I've done a sim... A tutorial on Simbrief and how to use it. Perhaps I'll do a video explaining how charts work and how you can uh, understand them easier. Especially when you look at them for the first time, they can be a little bit overwhelming, and so one of those things that you do need to eventually learn. My monitor is a Samsung CH something or another. It's a Samsung curved monitor. Uh, sim racing, I haven't used sim racing, no, but I've heard good things. London mod is amazing. I need to pick up the Orbex London at some point. When this stream ends, I'll probably go and buy it. I also need to buy London City, as I do own the X-Plane version, and therefore get the 40% discounts. Where right now, we're currently in Western Poland, soon to enter the German border. Um, I mean, Navigraph you can subscribe to, if you want to get the updated Eric cycles as they come into the simulator. But, um, as it stands, default waypoints and airways aren't too bad. You have got a couple of them missing, but as I explained in my tutorials, they're not too bad and you can fly from A to B without too many problems. Flight time, 1 hour 40 minutes. Uh, Yelly asked about fuel drop. The A320 does not have fuel drop, it's too small to handle it. What games do I play? Um, I mean, I've got Flight Sim right now. I enjoy a bit of Train Sim Worlds. I enjoy... I enjoy Armour 3. Armour 3 I rather enjoy. 
engines are in climb mode, now sets to speed mode, so we are currently flying at Mach 181. Used in Seattle, anybody got the game last night showed me, so Safeco Field and Century Link. There are sports stadiums, yes, so there are sports stadiums in the sim that uh, you can spot. Uh, you can play an online multiplayer, I'm doing it right now. If I have a look around, I can see there's a guy named Tony120 in the B350 to my right. And there's a few aircraft down there, so I presume there's an airport down there which a couple people are loading at. So, yeah, there is multiplayer, it comes built in with the sim. The busiest airport in the world is Dubai in real life. But in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's London. In the real life, it's Dubai. In Flight Simulator, it's London. Uh, how do you lower drone mode in the ground? I mean, I'm using the Airspots controller for drone mode, so it's the trigger button to go up and down. Oh, well, it's 747 over there. Type group 69 and 748. So yeah, in the Airspots controller, it's the shoulder buttons to go up and down, trigger buttons. And you can use those to go towards the ground. Four core, four thread CPU. I mean, I've got a four core, eight thread CPU in the i7 6700, but I think my bottleneck right now is the CPU. But I do plan to completely rebuild my computer in the next month or two. Uh, t tonight we'll be flying the 747, so doing two streams today: one in the A320, one in the 747. It took me five hours to install. Uh, nope, this is my first flight today. I've got one more coming later. I did want to do some flights earlier, but making those tutorials took a little bit longer than I anticipated, so... Yeah, as long as the tutorials are helpful, that's the main thing. Took a day off work today to bring the stuff to you, so... Hope it's appreciated. Uh, how do you control from the joystick? Check your buttons configuration. I use the HOTAS Warthog, and so it comes with a dedicated trim switch. But, uh, check out your setup. 737, not yet. 737 will come in quarter 1, 2021, and that will be done by PMDG. How many CPU calls does the game support? I'm not too sure how many in total, but the minimum, I think, is four. Welcome Ian Brownhill. Oops, a little bit turbulence there. Speed up the aircraft. Nice, yeah. So that's Mach point eight zero at least. Natural four. Should just try and avoid so that overspeeding. Uh, no, no three eighty yet. How big is the game? One hundred and forty six gigabytes. My FPS. I'm running at solid thirty at the moment, although currently limited. Running thirty limited. Every twenty new tutorial. Already done one. Check out my channel on YouTube. I've already got a tutorial out for the twenty. As well as the 787, 747, and sim brief. 28 knots, why don't you accelerate? Because, um, this is cruising speed. 280 knots airspeed, but the one that you matter is the ground speed. So currently we're at 442 knots ground speed, or Mach 0 0.80. Knots at high altitude does not matter. There's basically no airflow outside, it's not accurate. Above 10,000, you should be reading the max speed. Uh, my Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi upload is twenty megabits per second. My Wi-Fi download is one hundred eighty megabits per second. Currently looking at Twitch, I am right now the second most viewed Twitch streamer. The most viewed Twitch streamer is uh, the official Microsoft Flight Sim channel, which Chewie is currently streaming on. There I am in second place with 34 viewers. How cute. <laughs> the max speed in the game depends on the aircrafts. Max speed differs depending on aircrafts. Would I consider slow mode chats? I don't think so. While there is a lot of chat going on right now, it's not particularly bad at the moment. 
I can start to see get an understanding still of what you guys are saying. Because the chat I'm using right now automatically kind of lit whoops. Automatically limits everything so that I can read your messages without all the spamming and nonsense and it just slowly updates up and down chats. But uh we'll see. How do you turn the music off? Uh, music, you can turn off by going to general, sound, and then silencing the music. Are there liveries? Not yet. Liveries are coming soon. How much longer? We should be landing in about 1 hour and 10 minutes. Still landing at Heathrow. I see how much longer I'm doing this based on actual flight time. So no, it's a one hour thirty minute flight. We've been in the air for 10, 20 minutes so far. Uh, love you, love your content so far. Came across the channel. It's helpful. We've never played the flights before. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Lazar. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, graphic settings. Uh, as you see, running on high or ultra. One or two on medium, but we're running on high or ultra. Accurate turbulence, turbulence is pretty good. Fast forward, you can't fast forward, but you can teleport. Or you can use slow mode, to be fair. Slow mode will work. Uh, currently I'm playing on PC. There's... Microsoft Flight Sim is only out on PC at the moment. Xbox version releases early next year. FPS running at a solid 30. If I turned off the FPS limits, I'd be running at about 45-50 FPS. We are on autopilot right now. We are using autopilots right now. Uh, why limit FPS? Because if I didn't limit FPS, the OBS streaming I'm using right now, OBS would panic and start stuttering. And so to try and avoid the stuttering, I just uh, limit the FPS. I don't mind it too much. You don't need any more than 30 for flying a flight simulator. So behind me, you've got Welling Valley 86 now climbing in 748. Down below, there's a Cessna 152 flown by Reaper. There's an A320 by Eurorich currently below. And then in front of us as well, Sauron 91. And Astar Big 75 in the Boeing 787. If you haven't, if you've flown abroad anywhere, why don't you uh, what do you mean by that, Scott? I'm not sure you mean by flying abroad. Does that say Eurofric? Am I going crazy? Oh my word, I am. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, we've got a Cessna station to our left. Um, I would trust you if I was passionate about plane. Would you? I mean, flying a flight sim is one thing, flying the real thing is completely the other. Well, there's even a shallow visible. Yes, the sim is phenomenal graphically. I wouldn't. Uh, thank you for the two euros, Lucas. Thank you for the two euros. Uh, why is yours quite sway like that? So, at the moment, Sobo are still working on the aircraft stability. And so, um, yes, there's a little bit of a rock here and there. But compared to the previous versions of the beta, Certainly not, uh, not quite as bad. It's two dollars. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. Flying slower. I mean, if I did that, according to the VNAV, we're cruising at Mach point seven eight. I'm actually flying faster at Mach point eight one to speed up the flight. Uh, why not stream me on Twitch? I am streaming on Twitch. I'm streaming on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time.
Uh, can I turn aircraft labels off? Yes, I can. You can do that in the uh, the menu. So if I go to general, go to traffic, name plates, I can turn those off, and then we won't see the aircraft names. Wing view, sure thing. Can I have a look at the wing. Uh, what's my next destination tonight? I'm not totally sure yet. I'll uh, check out in a bit. TCAS does work in the sim. Yes, it does. Uh, would you play this on the original Xbox One? You should be able to, but compared to some of the newer models, maybe not quite as well. Can you play in these parts? The X sim does have failures. It does support failures, and so you can potentially look into one of those. Got some advice? Uh, nothing. I'm still here. Don't you worry. I'm just currently helping out a friend who's also currently trying to stream, but having a few stuttering issues, so I've sent them my uh, solution. Can I swim on the ground? Uh, uh, no, re do you re do you reply? Do you have liveries? Um, not yet. Liveries coming soon. Not yet. Channel 14 camera, please. Sure thing. There is no 14 camera. Just one to wait. Showcase camera 14 does exist. No, it doesn't. There's no showcase or external camera number 14. How many FPS do I get? I'm currently getting 30 FPS running limited. So I have limited my FPS at the moment just so that OBS can stream smoothly. But we are running at 30 right now. Uh, Chilos, you send me. 
So, um, my mother's Polish. My mama is in Polsko. Uh, is in uh, London. Rozumiem i mówiłem troszkę po polsku. No nie jest bardzo dobre. I could have a, a basic conversation in Polish if I need to. Uh, how long left to fly? About an hour we've got left in this flight today. About one hour to go. Is it laggy on all PC? Not particularly. I mean, my PC is quite normal and it runs rather fine. Uh, would I recommend to an average person? I mean, it's not too bad. It seems to run rather well. My FPS is currently running at solid 30, and that's limited. If I turn off the limiter, I get around to 45.50, but I'm only limiting it because of uh, OBS. Uh, you remind me how bad you speak in French. I mean, uh, bonjour, ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Ask you when's your birthday? Kelalat or your dui bon anniversaire. I can speak very basic French, but not particularly well. I've got English, Polish, French, and tiny bits. Pohum so mea. Hi. Mita kulu. Very basic Finnish as well, but my Finnish is probably the worst of all the languages I can speak. <laughs> to be fair, ever since I did that flight from Helsinki to Mari Harman, every single Finn in that dang country has now seen that video, and has especially gone and watched that uh, 10 seconds of me singing the Finnish anthem badly. Every Finn that I know has seen that, every person seen it, it's been on two media sites as well, it's crazy how much that video grew in Finland. <laughs> uh, Swami, yes, Finnish is Swami. What a moment that was. No, it was all in good fun. I don't think anyone's offended by it. If anything, I think more people were actually quite surprised because my pronunciation wasn't so terrible. Uh, yeah, Time DK is now currently around 10 to 8. The game is on Steam, yes. It's on Steam and on Microsoft Store. Uh, Krusty, Kusty, also from Finland, and having watched that video, of course. <laughs> I think the Twitch chat's starting to go a bit crazy. If we jump over to Twitch chat and try and moderate it a little bit. How to top descent? Top descent in around 45 minutes. 45 minutes will top of descent. Graphics is to high at the moment. Which is cancer. I wouldn't go quite that far. Uh, FSUI PC, I don't know if that works or not. Sim Connect works, but I'm not sure about FSUI PC yet. Uh, no, my mods are currently. Well, they're currently streaming the simulator themselves at the moment, so. I imagine this is a little bit uh, back. Yes, yeah, so we're also live on Facebook, so if you want to watch this on Facebook, you can also do this as well. Uh, Xbox will come either later this year or early next year. Speed, we're currently at Mac 0.81, or just shy of 0.81. Ground speed, 220 knots ground speed. So we're flying at around 400, 450 miles per hour. Coming up to about 1,000 kilometers an hour. Are we going to stream this to Chachibay too? I don't think so. About, don't think so. I don't think so. Perhaps only fans will do a flight sim stream. Where am I from? I'm from London. Uh, what do you have our sim difficulty on? Re uh, realistic. We're using modern flight dynamics. Realistic. Uh, realism. There are more people right now on YouTube than Twitch. I've got 36 people on Twitch. 462 people on YouTube and zero on the Facebook right now. But Facebook, you do get people pop in ever so often. Uh, 
uh, you have sim now, but thanks for all the videos. No worries, Re uh, Receita. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. I do hope that it helped you get a better understanding of Simulator on its run up to release. I mean, I've definitely enjoyed recording videos for you guys, and I think for the most part, it's been relatively positive. So, yeah, last couple of weeks probably couldn't have gone any better than they have done. It's been truly phenomenal. Uh, on a laptop, probably not. Probably not. Thank you, Tim, for being a sponsor. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for that. And my pilots? Um, I've got some GA experience, but I wouldn't call myself a pilot, no. Heading, currently heading around 265 at the moment. Down there, there's an aeroplane just flying by. Try and keep an eye out for other air traffic in the area. Anyone's gift to you? Oh, good luck. Uh, will the Series X run it? Not yet, but coming soon. Potentially coming soon. Well, it will come soon, but we just don't know when exactly. It could arrive out next year. could be out later this year. There's no release yet for Microsoft Xbox. Uh, is it easy to play on smaller aircraft? I mean, smaller aircraft are inherently easier to control, but it really comes down to your experience from the simulator. So there is a set of tutorials that the simulator comes with and so definitely worth checking some of those out if you need to as well. Yeah, flight sticks and peripherals have basically been sold out everywhere since the release of the simulator. So everybody has uh, been buying this stuff out relatively quickly but trust me it is beautiful, stunning. Has it on the CPU and GPU? Let's have a, a look, shall we? Just give it a few seconds to uh, update. Yes, this is real weather at real time. Right, so here's my CPU. It's an i7 600 processor. Running at 52%, 48%, so it's around 50, and shared across all eight of my threads. Four cores, eight threads. My RAM, currently 16 gigs of RAM, of which it's using seven, no, using eight gigs at the moment, 8.8 .8 gigs out of 16, and so I ring it about 56%, so again, very light. And my graphics cards, the GeForce GTX 1660, it's running around 
60% 3D. It's using 4.4 .4 out of 6 gigabytes of VRAM and therefore being utilized at around 55%. Temperature 17 degrees centigrade, so not running too hot either. It's a very well optimized simulator, running at a stable 30 FPS, and that way OBS can also stream it at the same time. I believe these CH products are compatible, yes. There's no reason for them not to be. Um, I've already released some tutorials earlier today. I did some tutorials on the setup of these aircrafts, as well as sim brief. How's transition flying on the infinite flight to this? Okay, I mean, first of all, I hope you've got some controllers because keyboard and mouse is not the best way to play this sim. Definitely look at uh, getting a controller. It's a big jump going from mobile sims to desktop sim, regardless. Uh, yes, there is a default Heathrow. There is a default Heathrow. Only the Premium Ducks gets like a special upgraded version, but Heathrow does exist in the sim. Choose around. Glad people have enjoyed it. I mean, for those who have watched tutorials, are they useful? Can you understand them enough? Because I was a little 50 50 if I was being a bit too fast in some cases. But, uh. If you guys have found it helpful, then it's certainly good to know. I'll have to do a few more of those. Yes, I've already said, Jakey, Heathrow isn't standard. In 2080, you're dead. Uh, how much time final base? Around an hour and 20 minutes till we're on short final. You are in the box CD version. Uh, good luck with that, uh, Speedbird. Good luck with that. Now on 20 to landing. So long? I mean... An hour and 20 minutes is about the standard flights of any aircraft. My livestream after this, I anticipate going for about 6 hours. I hope to go a little bit quicker than that, but... Around 6 hours, I wouldn't be surprised. I might change the route slightly and find something a bit shorter, depending on how times go. Uh, do I use Sim Toolkit Pro? No, no, I do not. Uh, thank you very much, Don. I'm glad you uh, found this tutorial helpful. New settings, same settings as yesterday, same settings as the day before, and the day before that. Location right now, flying over Germany at this point. Flying over Germany. How do I have so much... So much for what, Jake? I'm not, still not sure what you mean by that. PS4 controllers do work. You do need to map them yourself. Correct. At the end of the day, they are Sony controllers, and therefore... I don't expect Sony stuff to work so well on the Windows platform. Time. One hour. What's the most important bit of equipment I have and I recommend on type budget? Um, I mean, depends on what your budget is, depends on what you can get. If you're looking for a flight stick under £100, then look at the Thrustmaster T16000M. Got an aeroplane down there. Look at the Thrustmaster T16000M, or even the Airbus stick as well, because both of them are very good products from Thrustmaster. Not too expensive, and do work rather well. If you're looking for a yoke, then the cheapest yoke that you can get, which is relatively decent, probably the SciTech Pro Flight System. Uh, the hotest I have is the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog, so it's an expensive bit of kit, but well worth the money if you can afford it. I bought mine second hand for £270, but it is definitely the best bit of kit I've bought for a flight in a long time. I'm gonna 
mute uh, Jakey now because he keeps spamming the same question. It's like we have to have answered them over and over again. Uh, glad you enjoyed the videos, uh, Scott. You go enjoy your golf. You take care. Uh, look at the horizon. Oh, yeah, the horizon is amazing. Who's never down there? Is that Berlin? It's not Berlin. You're flying over Germany right now. I'm not sure about laptops, Yash. Laptop spec I am terrible with compared to desktop, so unfortunately I can't answer that. Hanover, this is Hanover, thank you very much. Oh yeah, the Sidewinder as well. The Sidewinder is a very nice uh, bit of kit. Not too expensive either. And the X-52. Mm. Some say it's good, some say it's not. Uh, I'm using the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. Yes, the Honeycomb kit is very good. It's a bit higher price compared to some of the budget options. But the Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo are two very good bits of kits. Uh, if your MSFS download is stuck, leave us a little bit. If it doesn't change, potentially restart your PC and then continue to download again. If you restart your PC, it won't remove the download, it'll continue where it's at. You need to be aware that there are tens of thousands of people installing the simulator right now, all of which are currently to be downloaded from the same server, and therefore it is going to be running a bit slower than uh, usual. Fortunately, I was able to install this on Friday as part of the Microsoft pre-release setup, and so I was able to kind of get in before the crowd and download it relatively quickly. 146 gave me 5 hours at 180 megabits per second download. Puppies for three. Are they healthy puppies? <laughs> what kind of puppies are you talking about? Uh, Hotas X and DCS, all depends what your needs are. Absolutely, I mean, the, the Hotas Warthog's not for everyone. As well as the high price, it's quite a heavy bit of kit, being full metal. And so if you're looking for uh, something a bit lighter, if you're on a flight stick, Thrustmaster, I'd say by far the best when it comes to sticks. I wouldn't say the thrust. I wouldn't say the Warthog is worse than the 1600. I'd say the, the 1600 is a good bit of kit, but the Hotas Warthog is so much better, especially being the full metal build. And so while the thrust, while the 1600M is built for more simulation, I think it was built for Elite Dangerous. To be fair, the Warthog is built based on the specification of the actual A10 Warthog stick. It looks and feels just like it, and so. It's not for everyone, but I really like it. It feels fantastic, it's nice and heavy, nice and weighty, and just really good to fly in. Uh, is there a discount for Insider Program? No, no it's not. Regardless if you're on the Insider or not, it's the same price for everyone. Uh, should I buy a yoke or stick or MSS? Um, definitely get a... well, again, it depends on what you need. I mean, do you prefer flying... Airbuses, you prefer flying blowings. Do you prefer buying Cessnas? Do you prefer flying, uh, I don't know, what's a GA aircraft uses a stick, not a yoke? It really depends on what do you prefer. Uh, can you see my fuel usage? Well, you can see our fuel on board. But, uh, that's about it. I don't think there's any proper fuel burn capabilities okay, visible just yet. We just know our fuel on board. Uh, why to make the thrust was reverses work when using side tech thrust on yoke? Um, so when it comes to setting the reverse thrusters, I've had to cheese a little bit because, as I've noted, I'll go to my warthog throttle. 
the reverse thrust doesn't quite work as it should. So what, instead what I use is a... Uh, where is it? There you go. Decreased throttle. So the Hotas Warthog has a little indent for the reverse thrust. And therefore that indent I've set to decrease throttle. And what that will do is then hold essentially the F2 key, which turns the reverse thrusts on, and works pretty much exactly as it should. So use decreased throttle and not reverse thrust when setting up the re reverse thruster. Um, am I a pilot in real life? No, no I'm not. I have got some experience in GA aeroplanes, and I would like to do a license at some point in the future, but not at the moment. Do I want a Bora Bobble puppy for free? <laughs> I mean, as much as I'd like a puppy, the problem is I don't quite have the, uh, well, I don't quite have the time for it at the moment. Perhaps when I do make a life for myself in the future, we'll go and remove that. So I'm going to put Andy in timeout for the spam. Learn. I'm going to hopefully continue my student pilot training at some point in the future. I'm going to go for an NPPL type M. Cessna, Sirius and Boeings, then probably a yoke if you provide those, because Cessnas and Boeings certainly use yokes and not sticks. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's what you fly the most, and therefore it would make more sense than what you should get. At some point I will show how to use the autopilot for landings, yes, I'll do the uh, ILS setup when we get a bit closer to London. We are anticipating runway 27 left or right at the moment, and regardless of the approach, we'll be doing this via the Logan 1 Zulu approach. So it's just a case of seeing which runway is free, and how much air traffic there is at the moment coming to stand on both, but it looks like it's 27 right at the moment that's active. Best inexpensive throttle quadrant, I mean the SciTech Pro Flight throttle is budget and it works but it does spike every so often so not perhaps the best recommended but it works mm, there's not really any cheap throttle quadrants sticks and joysticks you can get but throttles usually a bit more specialist and so I can't really name any of them that's cheap at the moment to help you I'm afraid How does uh, how until landing? Landing's in approximately 35 40 minutes. Uh, yes, Logitech now owns SATEC, that's correct. Currently over Germany at the moment. Currently over Germany. Part times one hour and forty minutes. Correct, this is in real time. We are flying the full one hour and forty minute flights in one hour and forty minutes. Um, I mean, I'm happy with both stick and yoke. I've got no real preference as to which one I prefer. I fly with a stick only because my desk space is quite small, and therefore a stick just fits a bit easier. But if I could fit a yoke, I would definitely fit a yoke in. Uh, yes, we are flying with live weather, live time.
at some point we can definitely fly to uh, Johannesburg. My Wi-Fi megabytes 180 per second, 180 megabits per second. Uh, okay. Are we still live streaming right now? We're still live, so that there looks like it was a Microsoft server that drops for a second. Whoops. <laughs> That 737 model. I mean, there is no 737 yet. There you go. Back on the sim. There's no 737. Your download went. Okay, so it's like the Microsoft server actually crashed right there. That just shows how much strain people are putting on this right now. So many people downloading it. So many people are currently on multiplayer right now. The Microsoft server has actually just crashed for a second there. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, how I pre cached London. I'm not quite sure how the caching works, but my caching is turned off at the moment. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Noodle. I'm glad you're enjoying the video so far. Thank you very much for the kind words. At some point, we will fly to Denver. Yes. Not tonight, but we will do at some point. Uh, have I been considering a honeycomb? No. If I had more space in my desk, then I'd absolutely get it, but just because I don't have the space for it, I'm not going to get it. It really comes down to what can I fit and what can I not. At some point, we will fly the Cessna Station Longitude. At some point, we will, yes. Uh, I don't have a yoke, I have a stick. The Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. I'm glad you're on the video, Jakey. Much appreciated. Estimated time of arrival 40 minutes. Back stairs, uh, London now. It's appeared around. 300 miles away from us, so only 300 miles to go now until we land. Uh, ATC tab won't show when you open it. I mean, you just press on, uh, well, on the keyboard, the default command is scroll lock. Yes, scroll lock of all things, or it's visible on the top here. At some point they will add shared cockpits, at some point you will be able to fly captain and co-pilot, both on the same aeroplane and multiplayer. Not yet, but soon. Uh, how many hours to get good? I mean, it depends how fast you learn. Pace it your own self, and eventually you'll start to get used to the systems. We're using a stick and throttle, Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. There will be planes to buy. In fact, there are some already. Canada have reached their Cessna 182. And coming next year, PMDs will be releasing their 737 NGX, sorry, NG3 to uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, how to get the wind views? You have got the camera option, go to showcase, and then it's the last two cameras on showcase. Last two are the wing views.
this is the premium deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And this is the $120 version of the sim. Yes, the windows are fake. There's no interior in the aircrafts. It's just some fancy texture effects on the windows. Right, let's begin our arrival, shall we? So, it's runway 27 right in use at the moment. And we'll be approaching via the Logan 1 Zulu. Uh, no via. Insert that. And now, our approach should be fully configured into London. If we go zoom in and protect to plan mode. Go step by step. So go into Logan, enter the approach, head on south, head back north again, enter the uh, glide slope, and come into lands 27 left. So it's a bit of a interesting arrival into London, but given that the airspace in there is really busy and therefore gets very congested, it's a pretty standard approach to go through North London, cut down south, back up north again, and then come into land. Yeah, I'm going to have to mute you, JY. I don't mind having some conversation about the uh, Boeing 77 Max, but when it starts getting to that level, that's when things need to get a little bit uh, cool down. Uh, How would you get off the info third screen, uh, third person camera? So, if you go to general, go to camera, and scroll down to heads up instrument display, or HUD. So if I turn it on, this will then show the heading, your airspeed, engines, fuel, and altitude on the right. So to turn it off, you go to general, camera, and then instrument heads up display or hard and turn that off. And now, once you make it run with all that switched off. Uh, this will come to Xbox soon. It comes to Xbox later this year or early next year. But it will come to Xbox eventually. There is no cabin. There is no cabin. Uh, the A320 is not too bad. It takes a bit. It's a bit more manual hands-on than the actual 320, but for the most part, systems-wise, it does its job. Where are we now? We are entering the Netherlands. The A320 does swing in real life, but not as much as this. The A320 does have a small swing as part of the Airbus technologies. It's the way the aircraft rocks, if you do it in a certain way, it relaxes the cabin, makes passengers more relaxed. But um, it doesn't quite swing this much, and so it's, uh, yeah, they need to tweak it a little bit more. Uh, you getting fed up or answering questions? Um, not particularly, no. I mean, okay, there is a slight annoyance when you have to answer the same question like 50 times. But at the end of the day, it's a new simulator, it's out today, and you guys want to know all about it. And so I'm more than happy to share my knowledge of the alpha, beta and pre-beta testing, whatever. I'm happy to help you guys, I'm happy to teach you. Um, are you getting paid for this? I mean, other than ad revenue, which will go towards upgrading my PC in the future, I'm not so much, I'm not being paid by Microsoft, I'm not being paid anything. All my opinions are my own. I only get ad revenue, which will go towards uh, upgrading this PC at some point. It took me five hours to download. Five hours to download. Currently over the Netherlands. We're all betas here. <laughs> uh, there will be more planes coming in the future. Yes, more planes will be coming. There is only a window model than the A320. You've got a left hand window. You've got. Sorry, you've got a right hand window, you've got a left hand window. And that's it. For the A320 cabin. Oh look, there's an airplane over there. Uh, how long to get to Heathrow? About 35-40 minutes. We're soon to start flying over the English Channel. 
and soon start our descent. Call us James, you're now the latest person to go on the mutes list. My favourite aircraft so far has to be the 747. It's a very, very fun aeroplane to fly. You can already see there's a, a few aeroplanes now starting to appear. And by the time we hit London, expect to be traffic everywhere. There is live traffic, there are planes, yes. Can you climb with other planes? Yes, but I have turned off my crash mode. Uh, why constantly banking left and right? It's, an it's not a pilot bug that a servo are fixing. Uh, can you see me how to fly this? Um, on my channel, I have already released a tutorial on how to set up and fly the A320. There is a tutorial on there, feel free to check that out to learn how to fly the aeroplane. Most of the bugs have been fixed in this version. There's a few here or there, but for the most part, things have been fixed. This is multiplayer and real life traffic. It's both combined in one. So you've got real planes, you've got um, multiplayer planes. Have I been my house? Yes, I have. We shouldn't be too far from the ship. I'll we'll keep uh, an eye out for it when we do fly by. It's currently night time, so the ground is looking a little bit dark at the moment. Uh, if you have standard edition, yes, you can fly at Heathrow. The only difference is you'll have default buildings and not the fancy handcrafted buildings. But yes, regardless of version, you can still fly to Heathrow. The 787's FPS is definitely not great. It's by far the heaviest aeroplane to fly. I'm sure Osobo will work on optimization for it, but at the moment there are a few things here in the 787 that just needs to be tweaked. Uh, why can't I click my copy in high attitudes? Unfortunately, Mega, that's a glitch, and the only way to solve it is to restart your flight. If you can't click on the cockpits, it means that your sim is now broken, and therefore what we can do, at the very least, is save it. So save your flight plan. In fact, I'll do it quite a moment now. Save it, load it, and start again. But if you can't click on the cockpit, it is a bug, and therefore you now have to restart the sim. Or set up your joystick to uh, work everything around it. But yes, save your flight first, as that at least gets you, uh, at least let you continue where you currently are. Uh, where do you find ILS frequency? For the most part, it's automatic. So if I go to the FMS, I've already programmed run uh, runway 27 right at London. And so if I go to radio navigation, it automatically detects runway 27 right at 10.3 and detects the course at 270. So ILS frequencies are automatic at the moment in the sim. What part do you come up from? I'm from London. Uh, yes, it is possible to have aircraft failures. I am 21 years old. FMS the Microsoft game, impossible. Don't forget, Microsoft were not the ones to build this sim. This was an Asobo Studios platform, published by Microsoft as a Microsoft Flight Simulator. But yes, FMS is functional, you can play around with it and configure. I have done an FMS tutorial, mm, pardon me, I have done an FS FMS tutorial on my channel, and so feel free to watch the uh, setup there. Yep, currently flying over Belgium, the Netherlands. The English Channel is just up ahead, and we shouldn't be too far from ship if we look around for it. Once we're flying in the wrong part of the country. Uh, yes, I do plan to upgrade my computer specs at some point soon. Within the next month or two, I'll uh, upgrade that. Right name Droya, it's my surname flipped around. Do I have a file called community in my main folder? Yes I do. There's a community folder in my main folder. Have I tried Vatsim? Not yet. Cannot see the throttle when it controls because it works in the game. Um 
I'm not sure what you mean by that, YT Thunder. At some point, I will fly to Iceland, sure. How long to landing? 30 minutes. You keep asking that, the aviation. The answer's not going to speed up. Xbox version, there's no release date for Xbox. No release date for Xbox. Do you play shop on the radar? Yes, they do. Potentially at some point I will do an RLS tutorial if people want to know. Really like your video to sound cute. Thank you very much, Sarah. Much appreciated. Um, ATC works, yes. Am I a pilot? I'm not a pilot, but I have got some real experience in the microlight sector. And I have also flown a glider before. Glides are a lot of fun. Definitely a, a very different style of flying. Also did it in Scotland. Did it in the Scottish Highlands. Very, very beautiful part of the world. Um, I believe runway 27 left is closed at the moment. One of the runways at Heathrow are closed due to maintenance. I can't remember which one exactly, but 27 right is currently the active landing runway. So that is where we'll be landing. Uh, no, I don't have the landmarks packed for London yet, but I will be buying it tonight. Not yet, but I will be getting it. Am I using joystick? Yes, I'm using the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. I do play Train Sim Worlds. I do play OMSI 2. And I do enjoy a bit of Armour 3 as well. Armour 3 I very much enjoy. In fact, the island of Altis in the Sim is based on the real world island of Limnos in Greece. And uh, I actually went to uh, that island in real life last summer. Uh, we're in London. I'm not going to go into specifics where I live. Just London. Did you avoid midges in the Highlands? <laughs> as far as I'm aware, yes. Uh, am I a pilot? I have flown some real airplanes, but I wouldn't call myself a pilot, no. Try to turn on the cockpit lights. So uh, we can turn on the dome lights, sure. Dim lights, bright lights. Time to landing, 30 minutes. We should actually start on top of the tent soon, since we are coming now over the English Channel. Around 80 miles until we arrive at Heathrow. We'll start sending it about 200 feet per minute. 2,000 feet per minute, sorry. Approaching at 36, we're not particularly high. How much money to send the plane vertical? What do you mean by vertical? Like, yeet it up in the air, fall back. I don't know, £3,000. There you go, that's not going to happen. I quite like flying realistic, and so we'll make it a uh, high up. Yes, um, around 30 minutes in real life, correct. Let me turn down the dome light slightly. Bright's probably a bit too bright. Dim, it's a little bit nicer. Uh, New Jersey, at some point we will. Uh, which key lets you see the wing? Go to camera, showcase, and it's always the bottom two. The bottom two showcase cameras are for the wing views. Dome lights off, okay. <laughs> I'd say, you guys say what you want me to do. And if it's, as long as it's within reason, I'll absolutely do it. Yeah, where's the click bot? Oh boy, I've now lost the uh, click spot for it. There we go. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mahmoud. Much appreciated. Glad you enjoyed the content. Sorry, you want to sit in the passenger section with random crying babies? Give me two seconds, I can make that, just the case. Am 
Wow, that's horrible. You want realism? You can have realism. I mean, I actually think it's horrible. This is a real video on YouTube. One hour of baby crying. This is horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. You guys are terrible. <laughs> uh, does everyone play the same server? Yes, everybody does use the same server. <laughs> get me off this flight. <laughs> you guys wanted baby crying, you get baby crying. <laughs> you guys told me to. I'm just doing what you tell me to. Um, do you play multiplayer? Yes, we are using multiplayer right now. And so I'm expecting London to be a very, very busy traffic jam when we do arrive. Cruising speed, Mach point eight one. No baby on board, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, I love the sim. I love you guys as well. This has been the best month of YouTube for me ever. I've enjoyed every minute of it, and you guys really have been phenomenal. Fuel counts. We've got 4.6 tons of fuel on board right now. Thanks for the streams. Much appreciated today. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Is there a career mode? No. Do I do YouTube full time? No, I don't. I am a marketing and back end database support person. YouTube for me is just a hobby. A hobby that has grown massively in the last two weeks. PC specs, I'm running an NVIDIA GTX 1660 with i7-6700 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR4. Uh, no, see, no, there is no mod, uh, career mode. No career mode. Alright, let's start to send the airplane now. Send it to around. Well, the intercept of the ILS that Heathrow is at 2,500. And so, therefore, let's now send the airplane to 2,500. Please crash at Heathrow, preferably not today. The closest I got to crashing was my 787 flight to Dubai, but ultimately we decided to go around and recover that without a problem. Uh, Copilot capability, yes, the sim does support some sort of uh, co-pilots. You can find the game on Steam or the Microsoft Store. Steam or Microsoft Store. Thank you for subscribing, Ethan, much appreciated. Is that a crying baby that's flying the plane? <laughs> Alright, there you go. The UK coming to view. Oh yeah, Heathrow will be a nightmare. Since The Sims come out, Heathrow is the busiest airport in the simulator. There are maybe around 250 airplanes doing circuits around it right now. And so coming into land will be an absolute miracle if we get the runway to ourselves. But yes, Heathrow is a very, very busy bit of airport right now. At some point, I will do the center landing tutorial on my channel. I will do them at some point soon, but for now, I've just gone for the engine startup and takeoffs. ETA 25 30 minutes. Thank you, Leon, much appreciated.
How am I so good already? What do you mean by that, Joe? How am I so good already? Uh, we're flying with Airbus house colours, but we are flying the real-life British Airways 851 from Warsaw to Heathrow. Uh, why have I started the scent? Because we have reached top of the scents. We have reached our top of the scents. Running on high settings. High settings, some on ultra, one or two on medium. Warsaw, Warsaw's the capital of Poland. Local time is 8.43. 8.43. Uh, how much money to attend to max speed dive? Uh, I don't know. £850, there you go. My usage percentage, my CPU's at around 55%, my RAM's at around 53%, my GPU at 57 How good is the wing flex? Rather good. Um, no co-pilot's friend yet, but multiplayer shared cockpit will come soon. Yes, uh, the Steam name for Microsoft Flight Sim is Chucky for some reason. It's a bit of an interesting choice, but presumably it's a way to kind of like protect the sim as it's in development and therefore just to try and avoid any accidental um, leaking. Uh, who is from Poland? My mum is from Poland. I am from Poland. I am from Poland. That baby makes me jump out of the aircraft. <laughs> If you're still here in the aircraft, check if you're still live streaming. Sounds like you're a couple of minutes behind. Yeah, in real life, Heathrow's not busy in the air. But in Microsoft Flight Sim, it is. Uh, did you have the McDonnell Douglas MD 11? Not by default, but TFDI Design have announced that their MD 11 will be coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is there a passenger cabin? No, no there is not. That's a nice parish. I mean my proposed score near yes bards dobra. Namwiem na mówiłem troszkę. Na rozumiem troszkę. Na nie jest bardzo dobra. Uh HC no. Uh I'm gonna get rid of Cena now because I'm not sure what is wrong with this guy. My GPU is a NVIDIA GTX 1660. We're right now over the English Channel. What's the cost? Uh, for the graphics card, so you're talking about, or the simulator. The graphics card costs £175 um, pounds at the moment. The gra simulator costs $60 standard, $90 premium. $120 Premium Deluxe. Uh, what does Sim run well in the uh, ni GTX 980? No, almost certainly not. What's our destination? Our destination is a very busy London Heathrow. I mean, I'm flying on live multiplayer right now, so if you want to fly with me, I am a multiplayer. You could come up right against me if you want to right now. We've got simulator running. And so, you'll see what things will be like when we do get close to uh, Heathrow. Let's get the meta information at London right now. And let's update that as the FMS. Performance, approach, QH 1009. Temperature is mm -hmm, 20 degrees centigrade. Winds are currently 220 at 09. Transition altitude is at 10,000 for me. And our decision height will be 1,500. Right, that's our approach now set. Just down there, you've got a wind farm off the coast of the English Channel. 
So those are going to be wind turbines on the water. Uh, when's Microsoft going to be on PS4? Never. Microsoft Flight Simulator will not be coming to PS4. Let's say Microsoft Windows and Microsoft Xbox exclusive. Uh, how much should I pay for my setup? Around £600 over about four years. At some point soon, I do plan to completely rebuild the system from scratch and start from the beginning. This is sunset right now. This is sunset. Uh, how does everyone land if there's no ATC? It's a free for all, basically. An absolute free for all. Uh, monitor does make a difference depending on how it looks, basically. So, if it's brighter, it's contrast level. There's a lot that you can do to your monitor to make this look better or worse. ETA, ETA, 20 minutes. Yes, there is multiplayer. Are we dropping below? No, we're at 2,000 feet per minute percent right now. 2,000. Am I pilot in real life? No. I have got some real experience flying airplanes. But I wouldn't call myself a pilot, no. Uh, yes, you can track me on the radar. So I can imagine you can do that in the menu right now. How many people per online server? All the servers connect to the same thing at the end of the day. Uh, Nari's no harsh. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh... Xbox is coming out later this year, or early next year. There's no release date for Xbox. Twenty gigs left. You enjoy it, Jippy. It's a very, very fun platform to get your hands on. We I mean, haven't played this since the Alpha. I actually played this before the Alpha. I played this back at um, XO19 in London. And so, I've seen the sim from its very early days, right up until launch now, and it truly is a Phenomenal platform. Descent rate right now is 2,000 feet per minute. Uh, scenarios, they have a few landing challenges and a few bush flights manual VFR navigation challenges. How far are we from Heathrow? We are currently around 70 miles from Heathrow. 70 miles. The majority of your hair switches work, but you do get a few in-op switches here and there. So, uh, there you go. The cargo smoke in switches, the ventilation don't work. So you get a few in-op switches, but for the most part, things do, uh, do have some functionality. I'm not going to click on anything because, uh, well, it's going to potentially cause problems for me, but it's not too bad. It works at the level that you can take it off and fly. Uh, no cabin lights. It's pitch black in the passenger section. This is an Airbus A320. An A320 Neo. Uh, yeah, the conspiracy that coming out next week is absolute nonsense. Xbox has no release dates in sight. This is the Premium Deluxe Edition of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Premium Deluxe. That sounds a little bit too early, that.
Uh, see about Simon's chain work. We're currently running at 1080p, FPS, 30 FPS. Although I have limited it, if I turned off the limiter, I'd be running at around... Easy... 45 to 55. There is no Xbox release version for Microsoft Flight Sim yet. Everyone saying there's an Xbox version on the Horizon? No, no there are not. Nothing has been concerned by Sobo at this point. Even themselves on Thursday says that there is no release date for Xbox. targets and the latest person to be muted. Where are we right now? We're over Essex at the moment. We're over Essex, coming in towards London soon. Uh, 30 FPS, not choppy at all. I mean, you don't need... Everyone says they're disappointed because you can't hit 60 FPS on this platform. You do need to remember that with a flight sim, you don't need 60 FPS. You don't even need 30. The Federal Aviation Authority, the FAA, states that a simulator to be a training platform requires 20 FPS at a minimum. And so, following the Federal Aviation Authority's own regulations, as a minimum, you only need 20 FPS. Flight sims do not require too much, because this, is, this isn't a first-person shooter. You don't need that ever-so-fraction change, which could be the difference between you shooting going ahead or not. But uh, you really don't need any difference or heavy FPS for this uh, platform. So you're about to pass through 10,000. Start sending your airplane down. So I'll get ready for our final approach now into Heathrow. I'm going to say, I was expecting a few more aeroplanes in the air in front of us. Perhaps when we disconnected from the server earlier, we might get rid of them all. If I turn on the tags, let's just have a look around. Oh no, there are planes down there. There are people flying around at the moment. There's a person behind me as well in the A320. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's all the aeroplanes. <laughs> I'm sure once we get a bit closer to Heathrow, things will start getting very busy in front of us indeed. My best bit of the flights, probably uh, takeoff. Are there no planes at Heathrow right now in multiplayer? Oh, that's a disappointment. They're all behind me. Over there, these are all real uh, real people flying multiplayer aircraft right now in this sim. Um, there's a swarm of them over there. Right, now about to pass through 10,000, so the landing lights come on. I'm using a joystick, I'm using the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. At some point we will do transatlantic, but not yet. What does the vertical speed do? It lets you control your rate of descent. There you go, has he thrown our loaders in? Sounds like fun. Yeah, Heathrow is going to be very busy when we approach. So hopefully in a couple of minutes, we're going to, there you go. There's the first aeroplane now appearing. 
that should be the start of many. Whoops, oh boy, my frame rate just took a massive drop there. Could that be a sign of things to come? Back at 30 now. There we go, a few planes now spawning in. I believe that's London City Airport right there. I am flying a flight pass on the approach, but whether or not it will help me in any way, who knows. Turn off tags, sure thing. I mean, I like having the tags on just so I can see how many people are in the sim. I guess the same thing can be achieved just by watching the, uh, the green flashing lights. Yes, I have got a folder called official. That's where all the official content is. No, I don't own the Orbex landmark pack yet, but I will be picking it up at some point tonight. Turn on the nameplates. Okay, turn the name tags on. Uh, sorry, it comes under traffic, doesn't it? Yes. So, so far they're all behind us. I'm sure as we get closer to London Heathrow, it will all start to jump into view. About to enter the M25 now. We'll soon be flying over London. We've just passed 7,000. Altimeter to 1009. City Airport's still a bit further ahead from us. Not quite yet into view. For someone with no airline experience, you're pretty good to see. I mean, with me, it's just a case of practice. The more you fly, the more you uh, get better at things. Landing is very soon, yes. Uh, see the stick, sure thing. Do so it kind of like that, do you want it? It's proper fish eye. Landing indicators there. We shall 
arm the spoilers. In a couple of moments, watch out for a landing. We'll set medium braking. Well, there we go, London City Airport, slowly coming to life now. City Airport, oh so slowly coming to life. Down below, London to Seattle. Ooh, half of the aircraft flying all at the same time just that there. <laughs> so beautiful, it really is. And right there, that is London to Seattle, our destination for today. Have reveries been added? Not yet. Um, I mean, I've already done a tutorial on how to fly the A320. If you go to one of my videos uploaded earlier today, I've done an A320 tutorial, a 747 tutorial, and a 787 tutorial. They are out there, and they are ready to watch if you're interested. Oh yeah, casual can fly this absolutely. I mean, if you don't use a jet aircraft and use some of the lights, uh, GA stuff especially, you don't have to be an expert to uh, notice him through and through. The 747 out there shooting like a rocket in front of us. That thing is long gone. Check your speed, mate. <laughs> There we go, more planes come into view. So that in front of us is Biggin Hill. That's Biggin Hill. Average FPS right now, I'm getting around 24, 25. So a little bit less than 30, but still more than playable. I will upload videos every day. I'll upload every single day until this Sunday. And then from next week, I'll be going back to my usual Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday livestream schedule. The only reason I'm doing stuff daily at the moment is because of just how exciting the upload of Microsoft Flight Sim is. But very soon, I will go back to my usual upload schedule of Mondays, when, so Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, how do I see FPS? I've got an on-screen FPS readout on top right here. So, 22, 23... 15 there, but there you go, 24, more than stable. You need to remember that with a flight sim, you don't need 60, you don't even need 30. As long as you're getting at least 20, you're running stable. They do not have Bombardier planes, at least not yet, so no. That's one. Safe landing. We'll see how uh, how Heathrow is looking for us at the moment. Let's actually make our approach a bit quicker. I'm going to break away from the SID now. And we'll fly direct towards the glide slope. So go three... Hmm. Three, two, zero. Put on that. So make a right hand turn. Let's get towards the glide slope. A380's not yet announced, but you never know, time will tell.
Uh, how do you intercept the glide slope? So the glide slope is pretty much a straight line away from the runway. So you would be using the localizer setting to intercept the glide slope. Start sending the airplane down. And start praying the aircraft in for landing. Uh, we're not using ATC today. Given how m much air traffic there is at London right now, there would literally be no point using air traffic control right now. Currently running on high settings. We're running on high settings. That's two. There's an aeroplane to my right. There's an aeroplane over there going in the approach. There's another person coming in. There's another set of flashing lights over there. Nope, this is default multiplayer. Default multiplayer. Make sure the approach phase is active right now. Which it says V ref 150. So we'll be at 150 knots of touchdown. There's a plane coming to approach there. We've got you right there, so you're coming to approach as well. London City's got a few airplanes on the ground. Just about to pass over the River Thames. We can change cockpit brightness, but we do need to bear in mind that. At low altitude, we shouldn't be uh, using lights. A little bit lower than I'd like to be. Right, localizer mode on. And let's bring the aircraft onto the glide slope. Down to 150. Sound four. So the aircraft now bring the aircraft a bit more central with the localizer. You can now see the altitude diamond slowly lowering, and as soon as that gets to the middle, switch over to approach mode, and then now the aircraft to uh, glide down the glide slope. Approach mode active. down. There's aircraft absolutely everywhere right now. We've got this kind of TBM basically on the ground right now, on the roads. We've got that guy then in the citation. You've got that plane right there. We've got an A320 currently above us departing. There's so much going on right now. So much going on. Uh, yes, this is handcrafted Heathrow. This is the premium deluxe version of the simulator. I shall be doing another flight, but I'm now reconsidering. Do I do the 747? Do I fly something else? Because I do want to get some sleep tonight, and so if I don't do the 747 tonight, I'll do the 747 tomorrow instead. We're currently using the ILS to guide us in, but I will be using... I'll be flying manual for the shorts final. So when we hit 1,000, we'll switch over to the uh, auto so spoilers armed, flaps down, gear down, three greens, 
Brake set to medium, landing lights on. We'll have landing clearance, and the check's complete. The 747 to our left has missed the runway. Not quite sure where the 747 is going. Presumably going around. An F320 and a TBM both behind us. Number one, number two, number three for landing. There's a guy who just spawned on the runway right there. Thank you very much, Yanko. Right. Autopilot. Disconnect. Auto throttle. Guys in with the speed. It's a bit low, so I'll pull back on the stick. The A5 better be holding short for a little bit longer. Ooh, two planes just spawned the wrong way right there. This is multiplayer, yes. We'll go. F uh, we'll fly over these aeroplanes. And we'll touch down in front of them. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, touch down. Reverse thrust set. How was that for a landing? <laughs> uh, we didn't break the FAA because this is um, EASA airspace. Oop, there goes uh citation jet. Yeah, this is not FAA regulations here. This is the European Aviation Authority. Right, so let's exit the runway to the left. And let's go taxi down to Heathrow Terminal 5. I mean, the frame rate's not looking too bad at the moment, given the fact that there are so many aeroplanes here right now. The world is absolutely full of them. We'll turn off the landing lights, turn on the taxi lights, and start up the APU. Oh, sorry, nope, you're right, it's the CAA, the Civil Aviation Authority here in the UK. Not the ASA, the CAA. You are correct. Have I flown a plane like this? Uh, not in real life. Well, as a passenger I have, yes. But not as a pilot, no. Yeah, there's a slight bit of stuttering at the moment, but when you, uh, you have this many airplanes at an airport, kind of expect things to be running a little bit slower than usual. Alright, up the flaps. Since we're off the runway, we can also now turn off the strobe lights. Sorry, strobe lights automatic, aren't they? Uh, did I cancel my Manila flight yesterday? No, my flight to Manila went perfect. We flew from Tokyo to the Philippines in about four hours. Still there if you want to watch it in 787. Am I pilot in real life? Um, no. I have flown some GA aircraft in real life. I've also flown a glider, but I haven't got a license, no. How many FPS right now? I'm running at 21, 22 FPS, and this is a fully modelled handcrafted Heathrow with about 200 aeroplanes absolutely everywhere. There's an F320 Neo behind me, Super Cruise MDF2. There's a Citation Jet again going at super crazy speeds on the runway. So much going on here at Heathrow right now, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, video of landing in Manila on Twitch, it's on both. I streamed both on Twitch and YouTube, the Manila flights. Get your CPL ASAP. The problem is, I don't have 80 grand to get in the CPL. The most difficult aircraft I've flown, in sim or real life? I mean, I wouldn't say I have flown a difficult aircraft. 
I mean, when I fly micro flights, I've flown the Icarus C-42 and the Flight Design CTSW. And the glider was just a Grob 103. So, I'll be doing one more flight today, but it won't be in 747. I wanted to do 747 initially, but I'm going to do that tomorrow instead. That way I can actually have a bit of time to actually fly that one and get some sleep. So I'll do another A320 flight today. I'll probably fly somewhere a little bit quieter than Heathrow right now. And uh, potentially I'll fly in America. I haven't really done too many flights in America yet, so I'm not sure what route I'll do. I'll have a look around and I'll see what there is, but in about 30 minutes we'll be doing another flight, so don't you worry. Uh, have I flown a Grob Tutor? No, no I have not. Alright, slowly now coming up to Terminal 5. At some point, I will do an approach tutorial, yes. Is there a way to get liveries? Not yet, but I can imagine that uh, liveries will come soon. I've just realised, so far, we have 1,234 viewers. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's awesome. <laughs> just make a left-hand turn here. Let's find a gate that's not currently occupied by an aircraft. Uh, take San Francisco for the next flight. Potentially we could do San Francisco. I'll see what routes there are. Uh, 22 FPS, can I feel stuttering? Uh, no, not really. I mean, even at 22 FPS, it still feels very nice and very smooth to fly. Flight sim does not require too much to run at all. Uh, how to go multiplayer? Okay. When I park up a gate, I'll show you how to do multiplayer. It's very simple. I'll show you how to do it, don't you worry. London to Paris. Um, We'll see. I do want to fly in America. I have got America in my mind. Atlanta to... I'm not quite sure where. Sierra Whiskey or Remy Depp Cord. Uh, that is Orlando. Saying Vegas. Uh, yes, I'm still using the description. My dis I'm still using the setup of my description. If you want to know what my spec is, it's an i7 6700 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1660 graphics card. Los Angeles to Vegas. I mean, I'm getting so many root requests. Land to Reykjavik. Not tonight. I want to do maybe a. I want to do two or three hours. Two or three hours flight time today. We need to get that 28 Ti. I mean, the amount of donations you guys have thrown at me recently, I mean, the amount of donations I've had recently has been truly phenomenal. And I can tell you absolutely right now that what you guys have sent my way will go towards upgrading my PC. New graphics cards, new RAM, new CPU, new everything. That's the, uh, the fund you guys have now given me. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to London Heathrow Airport. Local time is 21 past 9. So beacon lights and uh, yeah, let's now move to the ground with Dram Camp. It really is a, a busy airport tonight. So much going on, it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> but yeah, very good flight that. The landing especially was a lot of fun, even with the multiplayer at the moment. <laughs> just clips the top of the two airplanes on the runway, and then came for a touchdown. But hey, all in good fun. So, uh, yeah. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching. Do leave a like if you enjoyed the stream. Do subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. Thank you all again for the amazing growth you've shown me recently. The amazing support, the amazing love. It's just been phenomenal. You guys have been absolutely amazing. I can't stretch that with any more. You guys are amazing. I'm going to end the stream, have a quick shower, freshen myself up a little bit, and then we'll do one more flight, two to three hours in length. I've had a lot of people saying San Francisco, so we'll try and see if we can do San Francisco to somewhere. But we'll plan the route out, and we'll sort something out. Thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves, and I shall see you 
very, very soon. Take care, and goodbye. Oh yeah, sorry, nope, you're right, I did promise multiplayer. I did promise multiplayer. So if you go to the main menu... Sorry, thanks for reminding me there, guys. I did promise I'd show you how to do multiplayer. Before I, uh, forget. Give it a second to load. How long is the flight from San Francisco to Seattle? If it's a good flight time, I'll do it. And we'll do it in the A320, and tomorrow I plan to fly the 747. So tomorrow around 7 to 7.30 p.m. We'll fly the four engines jumbo. Right. So, to use multiplayer, you go over to flight conditions, and then you have your three options here. Off, which is nobody. Live players, which is everybody using multiplayer. And all players, which is everybody. So, whether or not they're using multiplayer or not. You're right, Arizona's not a city. Whoops. <laughs> um, so, regardless of these multiplayer or not, it shows absolutely everybody in the simulator. So, your multiplayer is accessible here. The air traffic, you can use live traffic, which is the real world's um, and real world's injected data for the sim. You've got AI planes, which is just automatically generated. And you can switch off AI completely if you need to. I'm not sure my menu is only at 3 FPS right now, but I can imagine it's down to the uh, amount of aircraft in the background. You can also set weather to live time, set a preset of both the time and weather, and uh, yeah, you can set custom weather and mess around with that entirely. So the reason why my thing's lagging so much is probably because if I go over to London right now and zoom in, Let's have a look at how many people are currently flying right here. Hmm, that's, uh, not gonna lie. I was expecting a little bit more than that. Perhaps it's just not, uh, loaded in. But earlier on, the thing was basically just covered entirely in green. With the, uh, screen just full. Uh, San Francisco, Seattle, 2 hours, 5 minutes to stop. Perfect. So our next flight will be San Francisco to Seattle. I'm going to go freshen myself up. And in just a couple of moments, we shall be uh, out for another live stream. So you guys take care of yourself. I'll see you in a moment. Take care and goodbye. Sorry, uh, before I go, they have all loaded in now. They have all loaded in. You've got all these green air- there you go. Look at that. Just look at that. Absolutely full of aeroplanes. It's crazy. So full of aeroplanes. If I zoom out, it's just the whole southeast England. It's just green everywhere. Green, 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 green. It's phenomenal. Let's see if New York's actually loading as well. If not, it probably takes a couple of minutes for it to uh, spawn all the data because there's just so many people. But yeah. It looks like grass, there's just so many planes. Anyways, I'm, I'm freshening up. I'll see you later. Take care.